stories. What's good guys, Creep Overlook here. And today, who do we have? Milano Fitu, saw with the devil. And what did you do? Uh, so I came to the Detroit regionals and got uh, eighth place, top eight. This is the guy who I net decked. Yes, you net decked. I'm kidding, okay. We worked on it together, I'm joking. All right. <laughs> Anyways, um, so with your every work is deck, you gotta play three, harp, extender, starter, everything. Uh, you wanna see this card every game. Um, Nightmare, uh, this search is hard. Uh, it's Gunna, Lil Baby. So the Gunna and Lil Baby combo hold is hold the up, best hold combo in the entire game. Yeah. Wait, what? That seems like a brick. It's not a brick. Because what the only kind of brick hands you draw are the no Orcus hands or the, the Orcus hands where um, you draw like five Orcus monsters. So if you play this card, it makes your like full Orcus hands like a lot better. So when you play two symbols, um... You gotta play two. You gotta play two. Yeah, yeah it's a very good card. Uh, wand... I draw the card every game. Uh, the I feel you. normal summons, uh, recycler. Um, this card's pretty shit. I wish it was a better extender. I mean starter, but like it does what it does. Uh, Armonite, this one just plays around um, uh, to Kobo and it's an alert target. So this one's better. Uh, then I play three Ash, three Nib. I think these are the only like good hand traps right now. Like all the other ones are like like whatever. Um, Nib like literally steals games against like the worst matchups like Salamangre. Um, in the mirror match, it's like a, like a, a pressure tool. Yeah. Ash just hits everything. We, we played similar list in round two, my opponent. I bricked, I don't know, set two pops with nothing else. He uh, fully extended his entire hand into <laughs> Portal Sword Dingirsu. I went boom, boom to Biru, and with Dingirsu, he set my crescendo, and I just <laughs> popped off. <laughs> so nice. Yo, it's like, it's like, it's like, it punishes bad players. That's why I love this card. I have a very big appreciation for this card. It punishes bad players. Uh, then I play three Allure. So that's okay. why I beat you with it. So. <laughs> I'm kidding. You Anyways, talked, I did. back I, to profile. <laughs> you talked, um, I did. So, <laughs> so my, my strategy with this deck was, I want to play Spell Pile. But the Spell Pile deck's garbage. So I play three Allure. Uh, this card searches your draw cards. Uh, three Return. <laughs> Uh, another search card, uh, Desires. This card always searches Engage. And I play three Engage. Um, Cause it also searches Engage. It also searches Engage. And what you want to do is just pressure your opponent with Engage and immediately win the game. Um, but for real though, Engage is um, a lesser, uh, lots of people are starting to cut it just cause you can't make Mermaid with it. But lots of people don't realize that like, like when I see this card, Let me tell you I make sure to go plus three with it. Let me tell you guys something, <laughs> let me tell you guys something. I also played this card today in my striker deck. So good. So broken. So good. It's actually just like the play, best card. It's honestly yeah. the best card in the entire game. Yeah, we, we played four targets for it. Four targets. Uh, this one, Afterburners. Um, for floodgates. Floodgates. Because you can't pop the face up floodgates. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Um, so uh, shark cannon. Uh, there's lots of times where you take your opponent's stuff. Like I remember, I think it was round five. I took my opponent. Uh, like I was under Lancia, so I had to play pure striker for the turn. Uh, and I ended on like this and widow anchor. And um, so pretty much what I did after uh, stab my face, I used shark cannon. I took his Lancia, and then I stunned him for a turn. Oh yeah, the pro players we didn't play Hornet drones. Yeah, Hornet drones was a bad card. No, this card <laughs> add back engage. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> And then for the, um, the one ofs, um, this card. Oh, you play it now. The card, yeah, this card I play it now. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, I draw this card every game. <laughs> uh, I play one twin. The reason I play one is because like the first one is like the only one that's ever gonna be so impactful and like um, it's always there in your deck for like a certain mind match. He also always draws it so when he needs to. I so. draw when I need to. <laughs> Um, and I put upstart because you're trying to fill up the spell pile. I play 44 cards with upstart. It's a free side out and it's certain, like it adds up to the spell pile. That's the strategy. I think today I got Kagari to like 2800 one time. Yeah, we had very similar decks. Except and I then play. three crescendo. Uh, lots of people disagree with this card. It's a brick. Yes, it's a brick. But this card is like when you um, when you hard draw it, it, it makes the card so much more powerful. Your when your opponent does not know where it is. It, it makes it so that like it's literally solemn judgment. It allows you to get like Babel in return. So exactly. Babel plus Crescendo. Every time I open Crescendo and I have Gala on board, I win the game. Yeah. Easily. Uh, so that was my main deck. I wouldn't change a thing. My deck was perfect. Nothing could have went wrong other than losing in time. I still think you should play Greffer and Rhoda, but... I definitely disagree. Those cards are garbage. Um, we have barely someone next. I played... I... It was almost identical, but I played um, I and I I didn't play the crescendo in the second um, 
the, sorry, the third brass, and I, I, I played Greffer and uh, Rhoda. I like and those see cards. where that got you. <laughs> you brass had, is, brass is you had so, one more point. Brass, there. brass is the most safe normal summon in the entire deck, just because it plays around Ash, plays around the the unexpected. Okay, that is, that is true. That's true. Brass is really brass is brass really, is nice. Brass is the nicest normal summon in the deck in my opinion. So then I play uh, five Galateas. Although I do like uh, this one kind of sucks more, but like this one's like the other Galatea. Uh, the, this sec one, the second long gear shit definitely comes up. It comes up a lot because like in the games when you go to the grand game and you have like five Orcus in your pile, uh, you go Galatea shuffle one, long gears will shuffle two, King attach one, and all of a sudden your resources are all back. Yeah. Like and you, meanwhile you're getting pluses like so set a card, send a card. Uh, I play two long gears. So, um, it's, it's hard to make Xyz monsters in this deck, but I feel like it really comes up sometimes. <laughs> uh, then I play Kagari. Oh yeah, and, and we um, decided not to play Gilsmack because um, it's just like Gizmak bad to see is a game. garbage card, man. I think I can convince you to stop playing Gilsmack. Yeah, yeah Gilsmack's a very bad card. It means that um, when you open it, it's terrible, and all it really does is like leave a body on board. And your yeah. deck already does that amazingly. Yeah. Uh, one Kagari to add back engage. Uh, Matt, we gotta play this engine, man. Uh, Link Rebo for the for the, um, for the friggin' brass. Shout out to Ryan for the common. Um, Barricade board blocker. This is my favorite card because it's like if you normal summon Scrap Recycler and you already have Kagari on the board, and they stop your Scrap Recycler, you can make this yeah, and pitch an Orcus from your hand. Yeah, it, it, it came up. It, it comes really up does. a lot for me. Like lots of people think they're like nice. They're like, oh, normal summon Scrap. Ash. <laughs> what do you think about like, like no, fam? I played. What do you think about like, if I have like Return Harp and Scrap, I like, go Scrap Effect, they go like, oh, ah. <laughs> yeah, and then you just everything in this deck is an Ash babe. That's what I love. Um, Masquerina, Masquerina. Honestly, so nice. I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot better. I thought it would be a lot better. It was. Honestly, for me, it was MVP. It was like, really when good. I hard draw crescendo, I usually just wanted to end on Galatea instead. Though. Like it was so much more valuable. But like That's fair. when I when I didn't, like I found my value. In this card. I yeah. would play it, but I don't think it's a necessity for the deck by any means. Yo, that's true. It's not a necessity. Um, Especially uh, since it's a very yeah, it's a very card, expensive card. It's not worth it. I would not if if I knew how underwhelming it would be, I probably wouldn't have spent the money. And I play um maybe package. <laughs> Uh, just these two. Be this Wait, why not Mermaid? Because <laughs> that card sucks and it loses to Ash. <laughs> Get it? Because it's banned. <laughs> uh, this card is the Tacobo Killer. This card is the um, Phoenix number two. Because you go Phoenix. Uh, like when you set up a it, board. It's Tacobo Killer under. Under. Um, your effects. Yeah, exactly. And I play Bomber. I didn't make this card once. Yeah, me neither. It's pretty garbage. Yeah, honestly. It's, yeah. It's like, anytime yeah. like you make a bomber play, you leave yourself vulnerable. To all I only make Phoenix like once too. Uh, but Phoenix, you need to play it. Like it's not, it's not a choice. You can't make, you can't make that like option. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's true. Roll sword. Uh, this I only made this card when yeah, my opponent yeah. had no cards in their hand. Exactly. You know what? It's like very rare I made this card. Yeah, know? exactly. Especially because in the bureau. Most of my win conditions were literally out resource my opponent. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, just yeah. like make sure they have zero cards and attack yeah. with my eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Like like I had this in Dingirsu, and I'm like like um he I I thought it was, I had game on board but I didn't. And my man, this card sucks. So I just link them off for Galatea because this card's a lot better. <laughs> like I don't need these cards. And that's for my side. Like, I would definitely change this and this. This is the only thing I would change. I have. I think this card like you have to play it just for like the random like. I don't think boss Kabar. Monsters. This I would definitely play. It didn't put put in the work today. Give me for the third Dingers too. That came up. The third Dingers came up for you. Yeah. I was playing it before, but. Like it, like it came up, but it was like so rare. Like exactly. That's like when you're grinding with striker, you don't grind yeah, with striker true. no more. And for my side deck, I play um, three Lancia. That card is insane versus this everything. This card, pretty much, I sided in against the Salamandry deck, and when they use their spinny, it doesn't get banished. Also, the king, I, you chain it to Pot of Desires. Oh, the busted. No, but honestly, um, it's for the mirror. It's for the mirror. Um, I didn't see it too much, unfortunately. Uh, but it's like whatever. Uh, Panker Tops. Uh, I think that uh, what I learned from PPG Columbus is that I have to respect the control decks. The control decks are very strong in this format. I, it, no, it's the stun decks. The stun decks, yeah. Like control gurus, alter guys. They're all, I would consider them control. Yeah. You know? But this card is like like a good answer to like either MST something or... It's also a regional, so like you kind of... Need and it's, it's like, most of the time what I use it for though is like a special Panker Top. They're like, oh, that's fine. Normal Summon Heart, that's fine. And I make Galatea. <laughs> it's an extender. <laughs> Going second, it's a free extender. 
and then I played um, two Diddy Crow and three Chalice specifically to not get Dweller. You know how many times I got Dweller today? Four. Once. And it was because it was in a game one. And I still won that game. Yeah, I, I also got Dweller once. So against the Salamagri deck, which I played absolutely zero of, I prepared a, an arsenal of cards in order to counteract their their um, dwelling skills. But like these cards, like this card is like pretty shit, like against every other matchup. This I actually saw like myself putting it in a lot. Because it actually like helped me break boards, yeah. helped me make interruptions. And one time it actually came up to make my monster more than P400. <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty sick. Uh, that's like triple call by the grave. Everybody was talking shit uh, uh, and uh, talking shit that I was playing this in my side deck. And I'm like, why, why? And I'm telling them that my deck does not lose to Lancia. I mean, sorry, my deck does not lose to Ash. My deck does not lose to Imperatives. My deck does not lose to any hand trap, except. Yes. Uh, the only card my deck loses to is Lancia and Shifter. The only game, like. You're, you're most likely going to be seeing those game twos and threes, and that's why I side them in almost every game two three, depending on the matchup and if, if I'm able to fit in space. In the last two cards, I two twin. Um, sometimes I pop my own crescendo surge. It's pretty good. I also like to pitch crescendo off of it. It's nice. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Any shout outs? Um, shout out to the whole squad of Game Nation, the 401 Sweeties. Yo. Check out yjomarket.com, use code John for 5% off all orders. Shout out to all my friends, shout out to the haters. Um, <laughs> shout out to Vanessa. Um, <laughs> oh, shout out to Ryan. Ryan is like the best. He, if it wasn't for him, I honestly like would pretty, I'd be still feeding. Honestly, 100%. And shout all out right. to you, John. You, you, you had to trust me to play my deck and you did great. Thank you. You know what, I got, I got, I got my points. I got no, my, we're gonna I got say, you know, that um, <laughs> So that's it for the profile. Thank you, Milano. Just got my homeboy from uh, Toronto. Um, yeah, that's about it. See you guys later. Bye. Peace.